I think we're good. Um, Alright. Let's get started. Almost level 39. I just noticed that. Um, let's speak to Agent Plato. Is that even on this planet? I think that might have been why we even came here in the first place. I think we're kind of approaching the end of Starfield because there's a lot of uh, planets that we haven't been to, so there's probably like a ton of side quests and stuff we haven't done. But, uh, you know, I think we're at like the final main story mission. And I think we've done like all the, the faction quests. Like, hang on, let me check something real quick. Uh, main revelation. Okay, this one, I'm not entirely sure what it is, but I think we only have one more achievement that is quest-related. One giant leap. I don't know if it's, like, a faction quest that we haven't, like, discovered yet, or if it's, uh, like, you know, another main quest. Maybe it's, like, the New Game Plus thing. Um. Regardless, though, yeah. It's, like, I think we're kind of ending, like, or approaching the end of, like, a lot of main stuff. So, with that being kind of said, um, we're probably going to be looking for other stuff to play. I was mentioning this um, not too long ago. Um, I think it was actually yesterday, if I'm not mistaken. Um, it's like I requested a couple keys for different games. Like, one is, like, I think, mid-October, and then one is, like, I think, next week. So, hopefully we get a key for at least one of them, just to mix it up. And then also because it's going to be October soon, you know, kind of, like, spooky, scary Halloween stuff. I think we'll probably end up starting our Resident Evil Revelations 2 playthrough. Um, if I like the game, we might end up doing multiple runs, but uh, we'll try beating it at least once. So, you know, we'll be doing at least one run on it once we start playing it. You are of course welcome at any time here at asked to pick something up. Hey, you're doing grunt work, Captain. Hardly the reward I'd expect for saving the city from a terramorph attack. Sergeant Yumi needed the help, so I volunteered. Admirable. I bet qualities like that are precisely why you've moved so quickly up the ranks. But I'm sure stopping a terramorph invasion didn't hurt your case. In any case, let me fill you in. We have a dead drop that we think has been compromised. So I'd like someone from UC Security to handle the pickup instead. Take the package back to Sergeant Yumi, and he'll check it in as evidence before it gets routed back to Aegis. Got it. Just tell me where to pick it up. Then that to the spaceport. There should be a Galbank ATM right next to the station. The package is taped under one of the benches. Grab it and deliver it to Sergeant Yumi, and the job's done. Good luck with the mission. Alright, sounds easy enough. Also, I don't think this is, by the sounds of it, this is, like, not off-planet, so... In other words, uh... I think we're just doing this on the same planet, so it should be, like, something super quick. I hope. <laughs> so, at least that's my hope, that, uh... Uh, Spaceport, I guess I jinxed it, maybe... It isn't on the same planet. It sounded like it was going to be on the same planet, but... Yeah, I'm pretty, uh, happy. Ooh, I just realized we're almost out of ammo. I guess we need to find a weapon workbench soon. Um, oh, actually, it was on the same planet. I was right. How are you doing? It's been a while. Um, but, uh, yeah, you know, even though there's been some things with Starfield that I'm kind of like, you know, oh, what is this? Like, it's a bit meh sometimes. And sometimes I get, like, annoyed with some of the stupid stuff that happens. It's, like, not too bad. I think it was a good way to kill time. Because uh, I probably wouldn't have been able to keep my sanity if we were still only playing Minecraft. Because we would have been playing only Minecraft for, like, months. Go ahead and, and I was, like, desperately looking forward to this to, like, you know, give me a change of pace. Good work, Captain. Suffice to say, you were overqualified for this job. 
but given our staffing problems, I'm still glad you showed up. That being said, my luck seems to be turning around. Package is a bomb, he probably blows up. new personnel as of late, not just you. Who knew all I had to do was put up a sign? I would make a habit of recruiting people off the street. Well, I have you now, so I probably won't hire another person for a while. Anyway, here's your payment. And if I have any more work for you, I'll let you know. Well, it's actually a lot of credits. Um... Light in the darkness. Alright, let's do this one, because we're already, like, right here. Have a lot of news to deliver. Trying to, like, work through some of these side quests now. I don't think we're gonna get an achievement, by the way. I mean, I guess I probably could get, like, an easy one, like, build an outpost. That one's pr like probably the easiest one I have left to do. But uh, it still might be difficult. Oh yeah, I just realized I wanted to like hire some uh, companions. Um, I think it's down there maybe. I'll have to like check. If you have a new story for me, what a sordid mess. We've got some other sources that we've been interviewing, but I'd love to get your take on the record. So there was a mercenary company, the first, and they were involved in taking farmlands from Freestar Collective families. Extortion, death threats, murder, all of it. Is that right? Uh, what the first did was unforgivable. Good to know. So all of that? Terrible. But Ron Hope, the Ron Hope, was involved with it at the highest level. All of that suffering was a plot to save Hope Tech from going under using the side effects of a fertilizer he developed. Let me be blunt. The other sources say you killed Ron Hope. Uh oh. Correct? I only killed Ron Hope after he tried bribing me and worse. And all that money didn't help in the end. After all of that, the future of Hope Tech is an open question. Their stock has already taken a beating. Not sure if it's going to go into freefall. Any comment? Who knows what other scandals Hope Tech is involved in? There should be a thorough investigation, but we're opted. Hope Tech's a great company. I know they'll weather the storm. For what it's worth, I'm rooting for them too. Thanks. If you listen to the news, you'll definitely hear this. And, uh, maybe try not to ice any more CEOs. Just a thought. You talking we might be leveling up here in a second. News. It's a classic win win. Really? To say you have my undivided attention is an understatement. A lot of people were there. The accounts we've got were... What was your role in? I personally took out those terramorphs, pretty much saved the day. <laughs> wait, wait. I heard someone from Constellation was involved. <laughs> that was you? Oh, this is great. Like, embarrassingly important award-winning great. The whole city is still on edge over the attack. We were fortunate, damn fortunate. That casualties were so low. What was it like in the thick of things? Terrifying. It takes a lot of firepower to take out a terramorph. That makes what you did even more, well, amazing. It sounds like New Atlantis, heck, the whole you see, owes you a great debt. Any closing comments? I already have a good story here. I can't sleep at night because who knows when the terramorphs will attack again. Everyone needs to know the man behind it, Ve Victus. Ooh. Terramorph Management Division has been created to make sure it never happens again. That's a mouthful. A thankful you guys are around mouthful. Hey, Constellation? From all of us that live here, thanks. We use the word hero a lot in news, but you really are one. You have I think we just leveled up. Because it's playing that like music. Picture of ship was robbed. Interviewed an ex-pirate about the robbery, but she was as reliable as good coffee around. So you were there when it went down. It's making delivery place wrong time. <laughs> I I was the one robbing him. Uh, 
Um. Why do I get the feeling you're often in that situation? Tell me about this Captain Petrov. I've heard he's a bit of an eccentric. What was your impression of him? Petrov was a hoarder and liked to collect any st anything strange or unusual. I would have loved to have seen it. I was about to say, I don't even remember who that is, but now I remember. No one seems to know exactly what was stolen, but everyone agrees it was valuable. Care to shed some light on it? Beats me, I got out of there as quick as I could. A giant gold statue of a giraffe. I don't blame you. Last question. About, and I'm quoting, a zoo gone wild. The other source swore up and down that alien creatures got out of their cages and went on a rampage. Please, please, please tell me she was telling the truth. It's got to be some aurora-induced hallucination. That's, uh, 100% correct. I'll just days, feed that. It is worth it to get out of bed. I love it. This is just a plain old good story. Check the news feed for it later. And here's your payment. Yeah, there we go, level 39. Your stories are a big hit. You lead a... Of course you are. Why wouldn't you be? I swear you're either a trouble magnet or... So, Sistef finally, and against... How were you involved? I was working undercover for Sistef, brought the fleet down from the inside. So what do you do for an encore? <laughs> so, the Vigilance went toe-to-toe -to -toe with everything the Crimson Fleet could throw at them. And somehow... Almost miraculously, they captured the key. The key itself. I've confirmed that with many sources. Anything to add? I was part of the team that actually captured the key. Someone seriously owes you a beer. Hell, a keg. You have to feel good about how everything turned out. Commander Ikande is being hailed a hero. And Sisdef's popularity is at an all-time high. Your thoughts? Uh... Ikande didn't triumph alone. I was instrumental at the victory at the key. Uh, yeah, I'm gonna go with the the bottom one because I didn't really like the commander too much. Um, you know, we were single handedly stormed the ship and like killed everyone. Like we were the ones that took over the key. I will make sure the story emphasizes that. People need to know that, and that's all I need. You really do lead an extraordinary life. And as a, well, possibly embarrassing personal note, thank God for you. When you first walked into my office, I had no idea you would be at the center of so much. And I get the feeling you're not sharing everything. Uh, I've told you plenty, though. Indeed you have. I talked with the editor, and he authorized a special... I think we might have just completed this quest. ...for so long. And maybe one day, years from now, you can fill me in on the stories you didn't want broadcast. Take care, Constellation. Yeah, I guess we just finished this quest. Yeah, look at that. Bam. 300 XP and we got like a huge like credit bonus. Um, I want to see... Argos Extractors. Familiar. I worked with Lynn on the Vectera job. Oh, yes. Lynn mentioned hiring some brand new miner before she left for that job. I must have seen your picture in the contractor database. I take it this means the job's done, then. Good to know. So, what can I help you with? It's maybe old news, but the Crimson Fleet attacked the mines on Vectera. I heard about that. I'm glad you're okay. I understand it could have been a lot worse if you weren't there. I just did what the situation called for. You should never have been in that situation. But on behalf of Argus, we're glad you helped handle it. Thanks again, but it's up to us now to provide better security for our more susceptible mining operations. Um. Uh... Well, she negotiated that woman never... Goodbye now. Kind of looking forward to my vacation. Sorry, 
I could use a little time to focus on my work. I was kind of hoping we could get uh, some materials. I'm happy to answer any questions. As a former con, we take on and we always. I book and process. We're a small. We just think after. Okay. Take care out there. Kind of sucks. We've only been on 16 minutes, but we haven't dropped any frames, which is like amazing. It's like, you know, I really wish it was like that all the time. Well, welcome to Whetstone, but of course. Because, yeah, like for almost a week, we'd been uh, having like a lot of frame drops. Um, I reset my internet, uh, I think it was yesterday or the day before, and now it's like a lot better. Well, that looks pretty nice. <laughs> they really went, like, crazy on this game with, uh, the amount of, like, food items. It's like, there's just so much that you can get. Infinity LTD. Also, I just realized, yeah, Botrix hasn't posted in the chat saying that, like, it synced with YouTube. So if anything was posted on YouTube, I unfortunately can't see it. Um, so, you know, if you want to make your way to, to Twitch or, or Kick, I'll probably be able to see the messages posted there. I think because, I mean, I'd have to, like, double-check the Botrix, like, Discord server, because it's, you know, this is just me kind of assuming things, but, uh... If I had to take a guess, it's because I think Botrix has gotten a lot more, like, popular. Um. Ooh, I may need that. Um. But anyway, uh, yeah, it's gotten a lot more popular, so basically what I'm trying to say is, um. That, like, they have more people using the service. And I think that it hasn't really scaled up because, like, it's free. I mean, I think they do have a small, like, paid option where you can pay, like, a couple bucks a month or something like that, I think. But, um... But, like, generally, it's, like, a free thing. So, it's, like, you know, their servers and stuff are probably, like, overwhelmed. Because I think they had to do that with something relating to... To kick not that long ago, if I'm not mistaken, they had to like disable something. Um, because like it was just like apparently like overloaded and it's like it wasn't working properly, so they just ended up like disabling it entirely. So I kind of expect that to happen with like other stuff too, as like you know the service kind of like grows. But I think even if I was looking at, uh... Aquilus has helped me through some tough times lately. Um, I think even if I was looking at, like, the, the paid option, I don't think that would really, like, even make too much of a difference. Freestar Collective Embassy... Almost looks like you can get up there, like, it's scalable. Sort of. Like, parkour. Interesting. Crap. Oh, well. I'm just kind of looking around at the moment, like, seeing what there is to see. Armistice Archives. I think we actually went in there once before.
Yeah, I'm not really sure what to do. Um, is it possible? Power. Oh, here we go. Now it's showing this. Hopefully that was the correct planet, because normally it doesn't show that. But yeah, that's what I was saying a bit earlier as well, um, regarding Starfield. Um... Helium-3, uh, aluminum, okay. And what's this one? It's just land? Okay. Uh, but that's what I was saying earlier about Starfield, is, like, you know, I think we've done, like, most of the, like, sort of main missions, because we've done all, like, the faction quests, and we're pretty much at the end of the main story. I hate how these companions never stop talking. It's like kind of annoying. Um. Oh, we need to destroy 30 ships. Um. Starship Engineering. Alright, hopefully that's good. Seems like there's a ton of, like, unknown structures on, uh, on this place. I don't know if we're gonna find the other resource that's on this planet, like here, but uh, I kinda hope we do. Because that would be really nice. Like, getting another thing discovered. grabbing all this. There we go. Is that a ship? I can't even tell. Oh, helium three. I think we. Oh, never mind. I think this is just like a huge thing. I don't think I can mine that. Looks like that's where the, the power is. Also looks like there's stuff even way back there. It's weird that it's not like appearing on the scanner though. Like, you know, where it's like it says something's there, like unknown or whatever. like really far away. Uh, 
Oh, here we go. It finally marked it as unknown. This gun's capable of killing a Starborn easily because uh, we're a, our one of our guns needs to be switched to semi-automatic instead of fully automatic to like properly utilize it. Um, and then the other one we were using in the meantime is like pretty much out of ammo, so we're pretty much down to like pistols. This is kind of interesting. It's not- this one isn't, like, showing me where the door is. Oh, here we go. Almost got it. Dude. That's such a BS when it, like, does that. It, like, despawns the thing. Okay, yeah, this is good. I kind of wish this had, like, a better, like, ammo capacity, but it's still, uh, pretty solid. Yeah, see, I want to see what, like, this is. This thing way back in the distance. Do, 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 do. I was thinking, though, as well, um, earlier I was saying that I, like, applied for, uh, two different, like, for keys for two different games. Um, but, like, I think they're both roguelikes, and I was thinking, like, I think after playing Gunfire Reborn, I really do like that sort of genre of games, the, uh, the roguelikes, um, because I think the reason why I didn't have too good of, uh, an opinion about that like, about those kinds of games was, like, the only ones I think I had tried before were, like, The Binding of Isaac. And, like, I think my issue with that game is that it doesn't tell you what it does when you pick up certain items. So, like, it was really infuriating if you had, like, a good build and you pick something up and it, like, destroys your build or something like that. Um, but the thing with Gunfire Reborn is, like, it tells you exactly, like, what you're picking up does. Like, it's very specific for, like, what, like, the attributes are on your gun. Um, 
you know, like, what the scrolls do, like, how they affect your character and, like, its abilities and all this stuff. So it was, like, you can, in your mind, like, form the build very, like, clearly. And I think both the games I requested key fo keys for are like that, from what I had seen, where, like, it tells you exactly, like, what's gonna change when you pick something up. Like, what, like, stats it increases, or, like, that kind of thing, which I really like. Because, yeah, like I was saying, that's all, I think one of the reasons why I didn't really like roguelikes before. Um, no, it's kind of stealing, interesting. Uh, but yeah, I think that's one of the reasons why I didn't really like roguelikes before, is because, um, with the Binding of Isaac, it doesn't tell you what's gonna change, and then it's just, like, kind of annoying when you, like, mess up your build. But, um... With Gunfire Reborn, it was, like, very specific with how things were changing, so I really enjoyed playing that game, and I think that's why, with the two keys I requested, um, hopefully we get at least one of them, um, why I think I'm kind of, like, looking for, or, like, when I was looking for stuff to play, or, like, request, I think there might be even stuff way back out there, um, but why, when I was requesting, like, keys for, or looking to request st keys for, like, new games, it's like those ones kind of stuck out to me and looked like something I would actually enjoy. It was because, you know, I'm kind of, like, now into roguelikes. So. And this might be, like, a civilian outpost. Yes, yeah, science outpost. It's, like, blue text, so I think that means it is, like, peaceful. That is kind of annoying, what just happened there. that one of our crew was still out there. He must have gotten hurt in all of the chaos. We need... Happy to lend a hand. Oh, that's great. Time to get back to it. Oh, there we go. I managed to squeeze in. I'm surprised we don't have a bounty at Neon. I guess that, like, threat was, uh, just for, like, the quest line. Our research will be finished. Oh, you're kind to offer. Our mission board should have... Right. Back to it. Alright, yeah, their mission board is empty. I guess we're, like, rescuing this person that was left behind. Yeah, you can see in the distance there, it looks like there is, like, tons of structures that, like, aren't marked. Maybe I need, like, a perk to, like, automatically mark everything or something. Yeah, it's kind of crazy that this boost pack is, like, so crazy with the height jumps that, uh, we literally, like, damage ourselves when we touch the ground. I 
guess we gotta go around the left here. That crater seems interesting, though. It doesn't look like there's, like, anything down there. But there's just a huge crater. This really does remind me of, like, Elite Dangerous, but I think last I played Elite Dangerous, you couldn't, like, run around like this. Um, it was like, you always were in either your ship or, like, a car when you were on the planets, but, um... I think last I saw, like a year or two ago, when I was still like seeing what was new with Elite Dangerous, they were like working on making it where you could run around like this, like with guns on like a planet and stuff like that, and like, you know, fight pirates and that kind of thing. I think that's one advantage that Elite Dangerous will have and like Star Citizen already has, is that, uh... You stealing my take? Um, lost my train of thought. I'm like, what the hell is this? Um, but yeah, they have like that advantage where it's multiplayer and you can do that stuff. Just step away from my fight. I'll let this go, but don't let it happen again. If you're lucky, you might find another one around. All right, that's just aluminum. Ooh, cave. All right, here we go. There's probably gonna be something alive in here, I'm guessing. <coughs> Cough. Dude, like, the lung damage and crap on this game is just so stupid sometimes. It's like, you don't even do anything. And it, like, gives you, like, bad effects. Just doesn't even make any sense. Ship parts. I don't know why I have that on me. Oh, now I remember. Um... Uh... The hell is this thing? Oh, tungsten. I actually need that. Holy crap. Let me go back to the entrance. And we'll, like, re-enter this place. Okay, I don't think we can do anything with those large things, as far as I'm aware. Actually, I kind of forget. Do I need tungsten or or titanium? Probably both, but I think I need stuff like both. Medicine, uh, this doesn't look too bad. Hold still. Worth a shot. Amazing. Knocked the pain right out. Much appreciated. Let's stick together. I'll follow your lead. Alright, this guy should be following. So much aluminum around here. I think I mentioned this like days ago, but I really wish I could find. Uh... Oh, there's another cave down there. I really wish I could find another. Uh... Another, what do you call it? Um... 
a planet like this, but, like, it actually has resources that we need. Because, you know, like, most of the planets you find like this that have tons of resources like this are always for, like, you know, stuff that you don't need at all. I kind of want to check that other cave that we haven't, like, explored yet, but... It's gonna be kind of a pain to run, like, 500 meters this way, and then run, like, probably a thousand back that way just for that cave. I still kind of want to do it, but it's gonna be, you know, kind of time-consuming. I think this really is why they should have done what, like, Elite Dangerous did, and has, like, have a little car you can deploy to, like, drive around in. Because that is uh, something that's kind of annoying on this game. Is like, you know, running around th these planets. It's like really time consuming. And like a waste of time. You're just like running back and forth to these different like uh, structures. Kind of looks like there's a tower in that direction. But that's what I mean. There's like so much stuff you want to check out. But like so far apart. And you have to like walk there. Which is just so stupid. I feel like that decision wasn't even, like, a timing thing where they're like, oh, we don't have time to implement that feature. I think it's probably just, like, the, the engine, because I'm pretty sure Bethesda, like, uses the same engine for, like, all their games. And they've been using the same engine for, like, so many years, like, back to, I think, like, Oblivion. Yes, you did it! I can't believe it! Alright, I guess that counts as bringing him back. Um, so it's like, I think it's just like they weren't capable of, like, implementing the car. Like, they're, like, they couldn't probably make it work very well with, like, the, the stuff they were working with, the engine and all that stuff. There you are. Thank you for rescuing our friend. Please take this. It's not much, but I hope it's enough to make the trouble worth it. Thanks again. Mind giving me edit? Nice. Honestly, that XP isn't bad. Like, the 150. Oh yeah, look at this. It doesn't even have- Oh, there we go. Now it has the cave marked. I think, honestly, though, like, after we check out this cave, I'm probably just gonna go and, like, keep seeing if we can get, like, the final powers. I think we should only be missing, like, four or five. Okay, apparently we're missing six. That's kind of, like, news to me. Maybe there's, like, a couple that are, like, hidden, where it doesn't tell you where they are, and you have to, like, find them yourself by, like, visiting the different planets. I wouldn't be surprised by that, but that would be kind of annoying. Because, you know, that means then I'd have to, like, pull up a guide. Um, quick Google search. Be like, yo, where is everything? Not too far away. 300 meters isn't, like, too bad. I just gotta be careful with these, like, vents, because, uh, they, like, cause lung damage. Interesting. Another crater. Okay, it didn't, like, let me use my boost. So yeah, let's see what's in this cave. Cave.
feel like there's gonna be all stuff that's alive in here. Yeah, I don't think I can mine those. Maybe there's like a perk where you can actually like break those down or something. All right, let's uh save ourselves some time. Yeah, there we go. Set course. I think the reason why it's showing us these now, either it was a glitch before that it wasn't showing them, or... This is Mathis. Mathis Castillo. I don't remember this guy. Uh, last time we spoke on the case, uh -oh. I told you, there'd be hell to pay. <laughs> you got me kicked out of the Crimson Fleet. Oh, I remember this guy. This and we can work this out. Should be interesting. Oh, that guy's dead. Yeah, shield's still holding. I feel like the missiles aren't very good. I might end up, like, removing those. Um... Uh, I think going forward, I'll, like, have the missiles powered down, and then have the, uh... the lasers and the other thing, like, always fully powered, in case we do need to, like, engage quickly. One more ship. Oh no, we're good. Gotta get these last powers. Oh, we might be able to put an outpost down here. This looks like a pretty habitable environment, unless it's just rocks. Yeah, never mind. I can't tell if that's grass or rocks or sand. I think it might be either sand. It could just be like the color of the planet. Now, oh, here we go. Alright, I guess that's like where we need to go. Uranium.
Yeah, I don't know what some of these structures are, but it seems like there's a lot somewhat close together. So we might actually end up spending time on this planet still. And outpost. Build on. Oh, there we go. There's the achievement. Um, okay. Oh, extractor uranium. Interesting. Ah, uh, okay, so this is pretty much like Fallout outposts. Transfer the cargo. Wait, as you transfer cargo while on board your ship. Oh, interesting. There we go. Got our little bit of points. Fabricator. I don't even know. Oh, produces adaptive frame. I see now. Crafting. I think we need that. Look at that, Barrett's Memorial Portrait. Oh yeah, I just realized, I think I missed the uh, the funeral or whatever that they had. Subdragon? It's a mod in Minecraft? No, it's not. <laughs> this is Starfield. Wall monitor. Yeah, it seems like you can actually, like, do a lot, but I'm not really, like, gonna take the time to do this. Scan booster. Yeah, that's kind of interesting. Whoops. Whoa, okay. Fly cam view post easier way to build large structures. Oh yeah, you can actually see me down there. That's interesting. Um uh, Alright, let me exit this mode. See <laughs> Tommy? Oh yeah. I think, like, as I saw you say that, I, like, think I remember our discussion a while back. <laughs> yeah, how you doing, Tommy? Um, let me find this one item. Neurojack, yeah. I think this is what we wanted, and let's swap out our... Our stuff. I think we have one for like 10%. Uh, I guess I was wrong. Um, uh, let's put on the lab coat. See if I can research these upgrades. Probably like a- oh. Oh, I need a research lab, okay. That explains a lot. Uh... Research lab. This is kind of difficult to, to do. Okay, we have a lot of tungsten. That's good. Okay, that uh, kind of sucks that we don't have more of that stuff. I think it's been six months now. Could you change your name back? Yeah, it's up to you, uh, whichever you'd prefer. Unfortunately, like, I had, like, forgotten what we had, like, talked about before, so... 
I think that would be one benefit of changing it is because, you know, normally if I see a username, I just refer to the person as their username. Like, because I'm, like, bad with, uh, with names to begin with. So, <laughs> I mean, it'd be easier for me, but obviously, you know, it's whichever you prefer. Also, I'm dropping, like, a lot of frames at the moment, so my apologies if it's, uh, if it's a bit laggy. Alright, let's uh, head in this direction and finish what we came here to do. Want your old one back? Yeah, did like, does it let you get it back after a certain amount of time? Because obviously, I know like you were saying, like after a while, it lets you change your username. Like, does it let you get your old username again, or does it have to be like a totally new one? Map updated. Here we go. I still have to like climb this uh, mountain. Is that uranium? Yeah. I just gotta find an entrance into this place now, and then we'll be set. I don't think there's, like, a, an above-ground entrance. Or, like, you know, on the roof here. Oh, I think we just found it over here. There we go. Oh, four more days? Close. Almost there. Our second one. I never really bother counting, but I'm not sure if like the different temples like require like a different amount of these orbs. Oh, they baited me. I hate when they do that. Uh, oh, there we go. <laughs> I was like kind of delayed. I was like, I could have swore I flew through that one. Oh, uh, they did it again. And it's gone. Bro, where is this? Oh, yeah, it's like not going my way. It's like they're spawning them in like really odd locations. <laughs> there we go. Should I add official at the end? Uh, I mean, it's up to you. It's like whatever you'd prefer. As long as it's an available name and it, you know, is something you want, then should be good. Alright, that guy is dealt with. I kind of want to check out what's over here. Because this looks pretty interesting, this like huge platform. I think maybe we'll like wrap our way around. Like, I'll go to this thing, the 700 meters, then we'll go to the 1,000, and then make our way to the the platform. Uh, good luck the stream. I appreciate it, uh, Tommy. And <laughs> thanks for uh, stopping by. Hopefully you get uh, the username that you want. Oh, 
how that's our outpost. I was about to say, I don't recall there being a thing there before. Connect five outposts with cargo links. Hmm. I don't really want to, like, do outpost stuff, but I kind of want to try getting all the achievements on the game. Uh, so maybe let me just quickly take a quick peek at whatever it's talking about with like the cargo stuff and then we'll take a look. Oh yeah, what was the X thing? It was uh, probably like move. Oh, uh, rename. Uranium. Um, alright. Scan booster cargo link. Build these in two different outposts and link them together to allow the transfer of goods between them. Items in the outgoing container will be transported to the incoming container. Alright, there's a cargo link. That was actually, like, pretty damn expensive. Like, resource-wise. Um, let's transfer items. Oh, hang on. This cargo link may be used to link outposts in the same system. Insert cargo link to use outposts in different... Ah, uh, okay. But it... Uh, okay, I see. Yeah, it's kind of a pain, to be honest. Alright, let me try doing something. Power, solar array. Fuel, G okay, yeah. I think we have to go with, like, the renewable stuff. Solar array. Output link. All right, if I do that and then I don't know if it matters where I put these or not, but I'll try and put them at least like somewhat close by. Um, oh yeah, we added three, so hang on. Build. Harvest resources over time must have to be placed on a vein. Uh, some resources can be harvested from the atmosphere. Alright, that should be fine, I hope. Uranium 3. Alright, hopefully that, like, does stuff over time, and then hopefully we can eventually get that achievement where it's, like, harvest 500 resources. I mean, I could probably... Like, you know build more stuff, but I think that that's probably okay, just having these two in the background. Because I don't know if the output thing has, like, a max limit, but I'm hoping it doesn't. So that way, it's like, as we're just playing the game normally, it should be I think mining in the background. Like, giving us resources. So, yeah. Hopefully that's all good.
We'll see if we can scan this stuff, because this always gives, like, a lot of XP. I'm almost hoping that maybe before we get off, we can hopefully get, like, all the, uh... Um... All the remaining Starborn powers. But, uh, that might be a big ask, because I think we're missing still, like, five, I think. I can check. Yeah, we're missing five, and I think we only have, like, three quests currently, like, telling us where the rest are, so I think there's going to be, like, two that, uh, we don't know where they are yet. ship coming in. Oh, it's actually going to that platform, I think. That's even more interesting. Oh, never mind. I thought that was something else. I don't know why, but yeah, all of a sudden we're dropping, like, tons of frames. I don't know what really, like, changed. We were, like, dropping zero frames for a while, and now it's, like, dropping frames here and there. But yeah, sometimes my internet provider, like, really pisses me off with that kind of stuff. Oh, we haven't even checked that thing out over there. Because it's like, you know, you're paying for certain speeds, and it's like, you just, they're not providing those speeds at all. It's kind of annoying. Because that's pretty much what it means when we're, like, dropping frames, is that means, like, our upload speed is, like, dipping pretty much below what it should be. I wonder if we can put, like, an outpost on this, um, oh yeah, I think it just grayed out the outpost thing. It would have been cool to have, like, an outpost at, like, a huge facility like this. And then we could have, in a sense, made, uh, our outpost, like, this huge place. I feel like you probably could do that, like, if there is an abandoned facility in the game, which, you know, there definitely are. Like, you can actually just use that as your base. When we discovered this place, it had, like, blue text, so I'm kind of hoping this is, like, a friendly location, and we can maybe find someone to, like, trade with or something. Because a ship, like, did land here. UC security uniform. Seems like this is, like, a place run by the UC. Considering that, you know, they have a uniform just chilling there. Does it let me steal this ship? This actually looks like a decent ship, too. Oh, ecliptic bayonet. Okay, this is gonna be, like, raiders. Alright, that works.
take over the ship or leave the ship. Cyberware, streetware. Interesting. <clears throat> oh, harvested organs. <clears throat> Mech components? Wow, yeah, it had contraband on here, and that's interesting. Titanium, that's great. I just want to see... Did we miss anything... Black market antiques, we did. I feel like there's probably some more somewhere. Kind of surprised that I'm not seeing something up here. I don't know if there's a way to, like, check the ship, really. The ship doesn't look that good. But it, like, is kind of free. Um... I think I'll maybe just leave it, to be honest. Uh, I think it already swapped to our home ship. Oh, maybe not. For some reason, Vosco is there. I guess, like, it's preemptive. I really wish this was like Elite Dangerous, where when you took off, it, uh, you were still on the planet, because I would kind of want to, like, blow up that ship, but, like, from my ship, like, hovering on the planet. Oh, what the hell? Um... Alright, let's, uh... Scanner anomaly, set course. And this is my first time in the system. I think that's why we got that XP. Landing site I almost wish there was a, a faction that would, like, scan, um, your ship for, like, contraband. Um, 
but like it wasn't like the Free Star Rangers or like the UC, um, because it's like, um, because I kind of want to like try going for one of the achievements, like get past like a ship scanner, um, like with contraband. It's just that, like, the only places I can think of that, like, scan you for contraband are, like, free star systems. So, it's, like, you know, kind of annoying in that sense. Ooh. Also, I just realized, maybe let me do, like, a manual save here, because we haven't, like, I don't think we've saved a single time since we've been on, and it's been, like, over an hour. Because normally, if we're doing, a, like, quests, I'll save as, like, the story progresses. But because uh, we've mainly just been, like, doing our own thing, like, we're still technically doing quests, like, acquiring the powers, but, like, there isn't really a story to this, so it's, like, you know, I haven't really thought to save. The Halo Rings. Such bull crap. Yeah, look at that. It, like, fakes you out. Like, it starts spawning it, and it's like, oh, our game was poorly designed, and then it just disappears. <laughs> yeah, it does, I, like, I'm not even surprised at this point when it does that stuff. Oh my god, what is happening? Of course. <laughs> oh, man. There's that. I guess we'll check out that mining area too. Pretty interesting to see what happens next because we only have one more quest, I think, where it's telling us where the, the power is. So, I'm curious if it will give us a quest or not. Oh, I thought the game froze for a quick second. I mean, it kind of did freeze for a quick second, but I meant like, you know... I was worried that, uh, it, like, would have been, like, permanently frozen. How much inventory space do we have? Yeah, we're kind of close to full. I need to, like, drop some stuff off on our ship. Almost level 40. Do, 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 do.
another achievement I could try going for also. Like, we're not going to go for it today because we already got one achievement. Um, one thing we could go for is the achievement um, where you have, like, visit all the systems. Because I think we visited, like, most of them. There is, like, a decent handful that we haven't been to yet. But I'm hoping that since yesterday we upgraded our grav drive and our reactor, I'm hoping that uh, we can get uh, the stuff we need to like visit those systems, because before our ship wasn't capable of re reaching those systems. Cave. I always want to check out the caves, but at the same time, I don't really think that's, like, an option. Because, you know, like, obviously, you know, clearly we could go there and, like, get into the cave and stuff. It's, like, you know, it's, like, pretty far, and it's, like, there probably isn't anything good in there. Unfinished hangar. Is there even anything, like, over here? Ooh. Oh, I do see someone moving over there. I was gonna say, like, it counts as stealing that, but I was like, you know, I don't see anyone. <clears throat> I thought help would never come, but here you are. A group of spacers has it out for us. Whatever we have, they take. And now, they're getting violent. And as soon as they show up, they board their ships and run. We need to take out those damn ships. I'll handle them. Thank you. Kind of surprised that's like a quest, but I'm like glad it is. Oh, that's cool. The guy's doing uh, space push-ups. Um. All right. Crap, I need to get out of, like, the line of sight. Yeah, it's kind of like shit. 
Uh, this missile launcher is, like, really bad. I think I might just go, like, all in on the lasers or something. Or, like, add more of the, uh, the PAR thing, whatever that even, like, stands for. Um, cause, like, it seems like those are, like, my best weapons. Like, maybe add, like, one more laser to the, uh, the ship, and then add, like, more of the, the para, whatever. Ready for action, Captain. Is something amiss? Um, inventory. Put our contraband in there. Um, I think there was some other stuff I wanted to put in there. Not necessarily that, um, aid. There we go, ship parts. I think that was like the main thing that I wanted to put away. All right, let's see if we can get back. See if we can make our way back there. But yeah, it's kind of annoying that the, uh, the, what do you call it, the, the missile system is, like, pretty crap. Like, it does do a lot of damage, I think. But, like, it shoots so slow, and I think you only get, like, four missiles, and then it's, like, out of missile payload. It's, like, kind of crap in that sense. Yeah, and, um... Surface map. Can I fast travel like this? Oh, you can. Nice. That saves some time. Overseeing this crew is a full-time job. I don't have much time for small talk. You're back. Did you take care of them? Spacers have been dealt with. Not going to lie. That's the best news I've heard all day. Here you go. For Sick. I'm surprised our ship isn't, like, fully healed yet. That's, like, surprising. Oh, 
No, look at that. It's like right there. That's nice. <laughs> Save some time. Water. I should also probably mention, because I mentioned this uh, yesterday, um, I won't be on tomorrow. Um, and then Sunday is like, you know, iffy, so. Most likely I'll probably be on Monday, and then, you know, small chance I'll be on Sunday, but we'll have to wait and see. Um, exactly, you know, what ends up happening, but I'm like pretty much positive I won't be on uh, tomorrow. Trying to find an entrance here, but, you know. Apparently whoever built these things just, like, doesn't know how to put a proper entrance in a proper spot. I was gonna say that's like kind of delayed. Starborn Deceased. I want to see what some of these powers are, though. Eternal Harvest. Is the cosmos granted once more to a fallen alien beast so that it may serve, thankfully? some of these powers, because I've mainly only been using, like, you know, um, like the one power for so long. And then while we're waiting for that to, like, recharge, we'll make our way in the direction of what looks to be, like, an outpost or something. Oh, that's pretty sick. <laughs> the invisibility thing here. Seems to last, like, a long time, too. Is there, like... Oh, there we go. Um... I want to see... what all these do.
Oh, okay. I'm guessing it, like, it's actually, like, it says, like, it doesn't, like, it's not like Skyrim where you summon stuff from nothing. I guess if something died, you can, like, resurrect it to help you. Um, like, temporarily. We're missing three temples. Very interesting. I kind of like the stealth one. Like, it's pretty good. But, like, I, I think the best one that I've tried... I haven't tried most of them, honestly, which is why I'm just trying to try some of them now. But I think the best one is, like, the, the one I think you get at the start. I don't know if it's actually random for, like, each person. But, um... Probably not. But the, the one I think is, like, the best is, like, the, the one you get at the start, where it's, like, things start slowly, like, levitating... Because it basically, like, stuns the enemy and lets you, like, you know, reload your gun, heal, like, get a good amount of damage in if it's, like, a strong enemy. So, it's, like, that's kind of why I've been, like, sticking with that one, um, most of the time. And how do you use the power again? Isn't it LB and RB? It's not letting me use these powers unless I just, like, brain farted and, like, don't remember. Yeah, I, I don't know. Unless my controller broke, and that's also, like, a problem. Uh, yeah, never mind. Looks fine. Um. Yeah, maybe I just, like, brain farted and forgot the controls. Because it's not letting me use the, the powers, even like the, the ones I normally use. It is what it is. I'm still trying to do it, but I, I don't think it's my controller. Maybe the game glitched because I was like switching between the powers like too often or something. I don't even know. We'll see. It would probably fix itself if I like, you know, uh, left the orbit or whatever and like re landed on a different planet or even on the same planet. But I think right now it's kind of like messed up. Oh, pirates. Oh, what the hell is this? Ship Bay? Pretty lucky to have found this place. Seems like they're still trying to like take me out from like really far. It's like funny because I thought I saw someone and then I was like, oh no, that can't be because it's uh. Like, it doesn't have anything marked on the map back here, but I guess it was just, like, they hadn't been aware of my presence, so, like, they weren't marked on the mini-map as, like, you know, hostile and 
trying to kill me. Alright, let me deal with these guys. Kraken. Okay. I knew that, that, like, sounded familiar, but I like, couldn't remember, like, what gun that was. This should help. We're gonna miss out on XP a little bit by letting the robots deal with them, but, you know, I'd kind of prefer that. Like, not missing out on the XP, but, like, having the robots, like, kind of deal with that, you know, while we're looking around, like, looting stuff. Let them fight it out. How am I supposed to get back there? Oh, there we go. That one's, like, really difficult to get. I'm sure whoever, like, put that there thinks they're, like, really clever. Increase sneak bonus by 1% and melee sneak attack damage by 5%. That's great. Also, seems like we're inside the facility. Oh, look at that, the robots are coming in. I don't know where the robots are. Oh! Yeah, this seems like a huge pirate outpost. Oh, and there's a ship coming in. I kind of want to, like, go all out here, but I don't really have, like, a good gun. I mean, I guess we could try using this.
Wow, this thing has like no recoil. Pulse, that's like really valuable. There we go. I figured out why I have to tap and not hold it. Um. I think that was- ooh, we're almost dead. I think that was pretty much everything, though. Um... oh, nice. Operative suit. Aid. Science. We already mastered that one. You scan the moons of your current planet at 10% chance to discover a trait. Mods too. All right, we need special projects rank one to do that. Sick. We're like uncovering more research. I think that's one of the goals that I have with this uh, with this playthrough. Is uh, whoops. 
I'm trying to, like, unlock everything, like, all the ship parts, all the, the research, and, like, the outpost stuff, hopefully, as well, before we, like, start a new game, and then when I start, like, a new game plus, uh, we'll hopefully have, like, everything unlocked. My next run on this game, like, on New Game Plus, I'm hoping to, uh... Oh, it seems like there is still fighting going on. I'm hoping to, uh... To kind of play like a pirate, like, you know, not only will I be siding with the Crimson Fleet, but I mean also, like, pretty much just kill, like, everything on site. Um, because I think that's, like, oh, a fun way to play. Because there's a lot of times on this playthrough where I wish I could have, like, killed certain characters, but I'm held back because I'm trying to, like, you know, like, kind of, like, kind of roleplay in a sense, where it's like you're trying to play your character of, like, being the good guy, and, like, you know, you don't want to, like, kill people because then everyone, like you know, loses their mind and, like, kind of ruins certain quest lines. It's like, on my next playthrough, I kind of want to play, like, a really carefree, like, you know, kill whoever and, like, loot whoever. But, you know, to do that, you need to, like, be powerful, meaning you need to be, like, a high level, you need to have good guns, like, with good attachments on it, and then you also need to have, like, a good ship to, like, you know, thwart off, like, spaceships as well. missions. Um... Alright, yeah, I don't think we have any more power quest lines. So, I think with that being said, we... ...have to, like, find the remaining powers ourselves, I think. But we'll still be on for a little bit, like, doing some of these smaller side missions. Yeah, for some reason, I think our ship actually is, like, permanently damaged, or, like, at the very least, it's, like, very slowly recovering. We're looking for the cutting edge of starship design. You've arrived. Welcome to Stroud, Eklund. If I had not mentioned it, I have another package ready for delivery. All right. Suppose you were due for one. The uh, contents, they're what we agreed on. Got some drug deals going on on the ship. Did he scratch the paint? That's all fine then. Do let me know if you get a response. Consultant friend, please come join us. We've been waiting for you. Hello, hi there. Uh, I speak to you about the new you ship project. Colleague. He informed me that you'd be taking charge of Project Kepler despite the fact that we have a fully dedicated R&D staff already assigned to it. But that's okay. I'm sure that even though you have virtually no experience with this, you'll do a great job. Starship design I actually have plenty of experience designing starships. Oh, ah. Uh, I just assumed. You know what? I'm really sorry. I should trust Walter knew what he was doing. My bad. Even so, we have plenty of designers. As you probably know, we're tasked with coming up with Strout Eklund's next hit starship. 
But we have budget concerns, market research to finish, and we can't seem to agree on a design. So I guess Walter sent you to resolve these issues. Have at it. Uh, I'm familiar with the process. Let's get to it. Ah, right. So you mentioned. Let's move on to solving our budget issues then, shall we? We were charged with building the newest, hottest ship on the market, which won't be possible unless we petition the board for more money. So we have two new budget proposals. One will allow us to build what I consider to be a very sensible ship, but we'll have to make some tough design cuts. The other will allow us much more flexibility to put whatever we want into the ship. It's what I call the kitchen sink proposal. I don't love it, but it'll be next to impossible to approve. What should we go with? We can build whatever we want with a larger budget. Let's go with the kitchen sink proposal. I was afraid you'd say that. Look, I'm the one who has to go to the board with this proposal, so before I can convince them this is going to be worth it, you're going to need to convince me. Persuade? We need to go big or go home? I know how we can sell the, this idea I'm, to the board. I'm all ears, because it's going to take a miracle to convince them. Um, if I know Walter, he just wants this done. Doesn't care about the cost. You know, as 50% of the Stroud Eklund name, that might be enough. Well, there's always room for personal improvement, I suppose. Yeah, you're a reasonable person. That oh. doesn't mean I'm a pusher. Oh. I know you're calm. Pay 100,000 credits? Not really willing to do that. I... There we go. I was about to say, like, there's nothing there, and it's just not letting me jump over the thing. Welcome to... Estimate 100,000. Estimate. Moderate proposal. Kitchen sink proposal. Drought Eklund. This is going great. Okay, but if... We got the budget adjusted for us. Uh, shouldn't be an issue now. Wow. How'd you... You know what? I'm not even going to... Great. That's one problem. It's a good thing I like just did the computer thing instead of giving the 100k credits. Next, we need to gather some market data. The best way to do this is to outfit your ship with some sensors and take it through some real world. Great. Just pick up a mission or two at the mission board. If you take on a variety of missions, we can build a ship to handle a variety of scenarios. In the meantime, you might also want to talk with the team, get to know them, give feedback on their proposals, etc. You know, I have designed spacecraft for over 10 years. So, you must have really impressed Walter for him to give you this project. Or maybe it's a bit of nepotism. Never mind that. <laughs> Perhaps he sees in you what he sees in me. Ask for feedback, ah, proposal. Yes. At least you may be more open to my ideas. Imagine a luxury craft designed for the most discerning of tastes. Every feature designed for comfort, in peace of mind, high-end performance, precision engine, this will be the most elite. I'm glad you agree. Such an austin... Two words. Conspicuous concern. Of course you do. I'm glad you understand. Everyone would want to look that cool. Not only would I have the chance to work on a dream ship, because I it is frustrating because I keep getting since everyone has equal say it led us to a step Just because I do not like how corporate we have become doesn't besides with every successful ship I design I believe I can in then again Yeah, yeah, see you All right Hi Oh You 
So, I was thinking that we could really use a recreational craft in our fleet. But not like super look something mom and dad, you probably think. Oh, really? Well, if we end up making it, I swear I'll work up a hell of an a- Uh, see you later. All right. That data from your ship is going to I'm wondering if we need silence. another chef in Then again. Assuming you can handle the missions. Good. Speaking of which, I think my plan is simple, no frills, and most importantly, won't cause me any major. It's truth, and we need it. The others believe we need to think big and innovate. Reality is, we just need to do what we do better than anyone else. So I'm thinking, there's loads of fires. No sense in mucking about with that again. And we've already got one of the best luxury liners in the biz. What I figure is, the cargo running business is booming. And no, nothing fancy, no frills. Just a simple, sturdy... Wait, really? Uh, I hope you're being... I hope we didn't scare you. All right, I think we'd probably want to go with the cargo one. Honestly, asking... Regardless, I'm excited to help you out. This is wonderful to hear. Now, I know you've been asked to give feedback on our design proposals. Would you care for a brief synopsis of mine? Tell me what sort of ship. But what pilot demographic is currently being... Um... Pirates? No. Even if it were legal to support piracy, <laughs> I feel as if expecting pirates to pay for anything is a foolish endeavor. My idea is a little less convenient. Exploration ship. Sure. We and other manufacturers. It's my hope. Yeah, that's what Jewel said too. Bye. All right. Um. I'm actually kind of amazed we finalized. Oh yes, I actually do have a proposal. I wasn't really expecting you to get... I'd like to see us branch out a bit more in the Starfighter market. Bounty hunting and mercenary work are both... Yeah, this is, like, probably what we'll go with. Wonderful. Thank I'm hoping when the time comes, I'll... Ah, we'll talk later then. All right, uh... So new here. Transport workers... All right, hang on. Give me a sec. Um, crew. We're gonna get rid of like two people. Um, gonna unassign these people because they're like unbelievably annoying, and then that should be fine. Uh, cockpit. I think we're gonna try doing this mission, and then we'll probably call it. Although, obviously, I don't think that will be the end of this quest line. Also, it seems like the ship is uh, slowly repairing itself. Some bullshit. Like it said, zero percent scan. Hostile ship in orbit. Deadly force is authorized. Weapons online. Opening fire.
Unfortunately, this is, like, the path we gotta go with, because I'm, like, fed up with, uh... Our contraband being, like, constantly flagged. Oh, they're still coming in. Holy crap, man. This is, like, so stupid. This could be like really bad. Do I have the companions? Oh yeah, they're on here. All right. Out with it. Uh oh. Hell is the matter with you. You're the one who's obviously angry, so you tell me. Wait. You're seriously going to give me the runaround by flipping this onto me? I'm angry because you betrayed my trust. How many exactly have done? This foolish g Members of Constellation are. If you intend to continue this behavior, we'd like to work this out with you. I'm not sure there's anything you can say. Big mistake. What the hell? <laughs> um, hello. Uh, is this game really gonna do this stupid shit? It's not letting me leave the cutscene and she's just running around, but I'm still taking damage, I think. That's just such bullshit, man. Like, this is what I mean, like, Bethesda needs to get their shit together. Like, how is this a triple-A studio? Like, seriously. Like, oh, good God, man. Such bullshit. Ah, oh, man. Like, that is just so fucking stupid, like, sometimes playing this game. Yeah, look, chance to evade scan, 0%. Like, that just doesn't make any sense. Um, our scan detected contraband on board. Halt and prepare to be boarded. Hostile ship in orbit. Deadly force is authorized. This is a free start guard ship. W what are you thinking? Yeah, this is like so stupid. You 
Yeah, you know, I'm just gonna load. This game honestly fucking blows. Like, it actually is so fucking bad for even, like, a Bethesda title. How, like, scripted the shit is. Like, you're supposed to have, like, free reign to do anything, and it's, like, the moment you, like, slightly step out of line, out of being, like, a good character, the game just shits all over you. Like, it just makes no sense. Crap, hang on, um... See if we can get out of here. Just such bullshit, man. I have a fucking scanner on my ship to prevent them from scanning contraband, and apparently the game is telling me that, like, that's just not fucking possible. Such bullshit, man. Honestly, like, that's what I can't stand about this game. Oh my god, man. Yeah, this game's really frustrating at times, and by times, I mean, like, most of the time. Like I was saying, it's like the moment you step out of line, the game tries to, like, shit all over you. Hey, what can I do? Got anything you need to offer? Sure, how about... Hey, like, on, let's see. Modify. Look, a scan jammer uh, increases your chance of evasion during a... Come on, game. Stop being shit for two seconds. Uh, increases your chance of evasion during a ship scan by 50% if you're using a shielded cargo module and carrying car uh, contraband. Shields cargo module and... Hang on. Maybe we're missing something. Maybe that's why it doesn't work. Um, gear, grav drives. Weapons. Are they really not able to, like, add these modules here? Like, what? Bro. I'll be honest, they really should make it where, like, you can build, like, whatever the fuck you want on, like, any ship vendor, because it's, like, kind of annoying going to different ship vendors, and it's just, like, they don't have shit available. Like, that is, like, really frustrating. But that's what I was saying, is this game, I think that's one of its downsides, is, like, it's like with Fallout or, you know, maybe even Skyrim, you can kind of like do what you want. But it's like there's so many people that it, the game refuses to let you kill. Yeah, look at this. This guy has zero credits. Like, unbelievable. Ah, man, oh man. Alright, so... Aid. Get rid of the Aurora, and then ship inventory. Like, man, this game is, like, just so bad. Uh, like, most of the time. Just, like, refuses to let you have, like, any fun whatsoever. Like, just ridiculous. I don't think my messages to SSNN are getting... 
I was planning on doing this mission and then getting off, but honestly, like, we'll see what happens, because this is just, like, kind of stupid. But yeah, that's what I was saying, though, on my next run, I want to be, like, uh, like a pirate just killing people, because it's like, you can see, I could have swore I dismissed the companions, but for some reason, um, they're still on board the ship, which is like, you know, kind of a what the fuck moment. And then they're like losing shitloads of reputation. Um, because, you know, we're like killing the dumb people that are trying to scan our ship. Like, it's just so stupid, some of the shit that happens. Oh, apparently that already, like, counted as the mission. Oh, man. Hang on, give me a second. I'm gonna see if there's, like, a workbench around here. I wanna, like, alter some of my gear. But it's, like, really difficult finding a place that actually has, like, the... the crap you need to do it. Oh, here we go. Oh, no, never mind. That's an indu- Oh, wait, wait, weapon workbench? Actually, that might be good. Um... Uh, yeah, I'm gonna make a large magazine. I'd prefer that. Oh, we need more titanium. Ridiculous. Probably need more still for this other one, right? Yeah, dude, like, come the fuck on. Ah, uh, so stupid. Yeah, this is ridiculous, man. Goodness. Our ship just, like, weighs too much, but I'm not really sure how to, like, counteract that. I need, like, a better reactor that, like, can have more engines and, like, you know. I think these are, like, the best engines I'm capable of having currently. Um, and they're not even good. I want to see if they have some... Wait, what? Oh. Okay, yeah, we can't kill these people, is what the game is telling me. Such bullshit. Um... I want to save the den... Man, this game is something else, I'll tell you. Our 
System's looking good, boss. Hopefully that doesn't like mess up the entire quest line. I think we have a bounty. Ah, oh, man, I fucking hate this game. Does it say where I have, like, an outpost? Interesting. Um... Oh, here we go. I think this is it. Yeah, man, this game's just so fucking bad. Like, it's actually, like, really fucking bad the more I think about it. Like, you just can't do anything on this shit game without it, like, fucking, like, being pissed at you. Just, like, so stupid, man. Like, oh my god. It's, like, literally shaking my damn head how, like, fucking pathetic this game is. Temple Zeta, Uranium, Land. Okay, put down one of those. There we go. It's so stupid how, like, they're, like, after you for, like, such a small bounty. It's like they're literally trying to kill you over that. Like, what the fuck is that? Oxygen reserve. Does it even say where oxygen is? And oh man, this game is like really frustrating me today. There's so much dumb shit happening. Um, build mode. I think we have to make, like, ten chems. I 
I'll make 15 of these because it seems pretty common. Guess I can't craft those. Okay, I can't use that. Um. Oh, space zoom mod three. Just trying to like get the stuff on this. That should be fine. Yeah, look at that, we're like halfway there. I don't think we're ever gonna need that much uranium, but... Let's see if we've resolved the problem. You've arrived. Proud Edmund Star Yard is here to serve you. I don't know, this game's kind of, like, pissing me off. Like, just so much dumb shit happens on it now. Well, I mean, it was happening, like, when I first started playing, but then there was, like, the middle period where it wasn't too bad, where we were just doing a ton of quests and we weren't really, like, straying from any quest lines or anything. I'd like to believe that you can help my team... Ah, so you just did the one passenger mission. Anyway, the data you collected will help us focus on- Now, we just need to solve our inter- You seem awfully confident. I've tried everything I can- Hmm. This should drive us- And since Walter asked you to- So you're sure about- Let's get ready to compromise. Let's get ready to disappoint everyone equally! Oh, yeah. <sighs> okay, everyone. Our friend here- Remember, not me, has decided in order to move forward, we're going to go around the table and everyone is going to give up one major aspect of your design. It's the fairest way to do this, and ultimately, I think it's going to make our collective design choices a lot easier. Who wants to start? <coughs> Everyone's like shocked. Fine. I'll go first. I'm willing to cut some of the included hard points. It'll mean less firepower, but the consumer can still add them afterwards, I uh, You're looking at me, huh? I guess that means you want... Oh, look. I'll be easy. You know I wasn't... 
Uh, I guess as long as this thing can still make it to deep space and back with no problem. Um, I'd be willing to give up some of the passengers. Yeah, that's... Frank? Mm, okay, fine. All that gold trim was going to be tacky anyway. Well then, that wasn't so bad. I feel much more confident we can actually build this thing. We're all super glad you're here. Based on the decisions you made, it looks like we're going to end up with a very reasonable ship design. I have... Now that we've addressed all our issues, we can... If you could do us a favor and let Walter know... Alright, there we go. I think that's uh, it for me, though. I'm kind of like, you know, annoyed a bit with this game. But yeah, I don't know. I think in that sense, it kind of makes me like looking forward to like playing other stuff, you know, like I was saying earlier. Um, like, we requested keys for two indie games that I think both are coming out this month. So, hopefully we get at least one of them, and hopefully they're, like, fun to play. And then also, probably at some point this month, I'll probably start playing Resident Evil Revelations too. Um, so, you know, I think we're slowly gonna be phasing out Starfield. We'll still probably be playing it a lot over the next, like, month and a half, roughly. But I think we are going to finally start, like, finding stuff to include alongside it. Instead of just playing Starfield like we've been doing over the past, like, three or four weeks. But, uh, but yeah. I appreciate everyone chilling. I hope you have a great night. And I will see you probably Monday. Maybe Sunday, but probably Monday. Take it easy. Peace out.